Hey what's up Doomers and welcome back to another snap map tutorial. This is video number 8 and this is about relaying. Now a lot of the time when you're creating your map designs you want to make sure it's dynamic uh, and keep people coming back to play your maps. Now the only way you can do that at the moment is you know just uh, putting linear sort of logic into it but there is a way to actually create some more dynamic content and the way to do this is by relaying now what we're going to do today in a small example is basically make things random and that's what you want you know you don't want the demon waves to always spawn in the same location you don't want things just always the same the same thing happening all the time and the way to change things about is to put this relaying logic into it so what we're going to do now is we're going to go down to the the relaying section here in the flow and you've got standard relay here which is basically spreading your tree out in several different directions but the one we've got to play with today is random relay and that basically does what it says on a tin it's random um, so <laughs> ceases that really so what we're going to do we're going to first we're going to create a um, pressure plate as a trigger uh, so you can put your trigger as the door, you know, uh, want to use the module, which we showed you in video number one. Um, so as you people enter that particular room, we can use the map logic as well or the module logic, um, which acts as the, the key trigger. Uh, but for this example, we're just going to use a pressure plate. So as soon as someone walks on a pressure plate, it's going to start a timer. And you don't have to use a timer, you can put any trigger you like in there. So we're going to hit X on the timer and we're going to change that to 5 seconds. Apply that and we're going to hit G. So start when the timer's finished, it's going to go to the random relay and spawn whatever is on the end of it. So that's the basic logic. Hit the pressure plate, timer starts, it starts the random relay event. Now what you want to do is hit the G button on there, create a link from there. So over here, we're going to start with our first item. Um, so again, like I said, you can put uh, demon waves on this. But in this example, we're going to put actual items for now. Um, so let's put a armor plating down there to spawn. Go back to our logic again. Hit G. Create another branch off of this. Hit the space bar. Go down to uh, health pack. Let's put a health pack down there. And spawn. Go to G. So again, these can be demons, mobs, anything that spawns, basically. Uh, let's put a demon rune down there. Spawn. And the last one, we're going to put a uh, haste, for example. So we drop that down there and spawn. So what we also want to do is make sure on the properties of each of these items. Um, so let's go back to get this working correctly. We're going to set them to not spawn on startup or set that to false. So let's do that. False. X. False. Spacebar. Nice and easy. <clears throat> so then what we want to do is once we've done all of that, we go back to our random relay logic again hit the X button on the properties and you get a couple of choices now you've got run once choose unique uh, outputs um, and also reset signaled outputs as well and a signal count now run once is obviously it will just run once and that's it choose unique outputs is what we want to set it to so we set that to true so it's completely random again it's not always going to be the same uh, reset signaled outputs um, you know we can leave that as false for now and the signal count is basically how many items are spawn on that particular pulse or that particular logic uh, so we're going to set it to one so that only one item spawns uh, for example every time you go over the pressure plate so we hit uh, spacebar we'll apply that and now we'll uh, we give that a quick test so let's uh, go and play that so remember guys this is a really good way of adding dynamics into your maps and your map design and uh, it keep pe people that you know who like your maps coming back because it will randomize thing and that is a real key thing for longevity of your maps you know people play your maps nowadays they play it once and that's it they won't come back put this sort of logic into it and uh, you're guaranteed to get some return visitors so there's a timer so there's our first spawn and it's the health pack over there so we go over the, the pressure plate again And we've got the haste up, so we go over it one more time. 
So remember you can do this in two, so you can have two items spawning at the same time or two waves, for example, of demons. So if you remember the order now, we had the Medipack, we had the uh, Haste, we had the Armour, and then we had the Demon Room. So if we go back, restart the mission, then what we're trying to do is we're trying to see and show you guys that how random this thing can be. So if we go back now, so we had the Medipack, we had the Haste, we had the Shield, and then we had the Demon Rune. So hopefully it's going to be in a completely different order now. There we go. So there's the haste. So we had the medi, medi kit before. Medi kit now. Demon rune. And obviously the armor at the end of it. So as you can see, it completely randomizes it every time you go in. So if you apply this logic to your waves of demons, for example, it's going to keep things different and keep things entertaining for your people that play your maps. Okay, so there you go. You can see it randomizes everything. So if you apply this to all your wave or your demons and... Uh, uh, you know spawns and things like that it will create really good dynamics within your map and it's going to be great for you and great for your map designs anyway i hope you like the video please like and sub thumbs up all the way guys um, stay great stay cool and catch you in video number nine